Okay, but we can't call him Bruce. Somebody else called him Bruce, and that's why we call him Bruce. So we gotta give him a different name. Good work on that shit. Um, I'm still wait. I'm still trying to figure out uh, some when it comes to Tevin right now. I'm still trying to figure out the new synergy that comes out of the tale of Amatsu no Kuni. So I'm not. So I'm kind of waiting to see what sticks first before starting playing on it. Also, we definitely playing on hard mode, right? We 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 playing on hard mode, ain't we? Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett. Ash. And Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. such a this is like genuinely such a wonderful game and it's simply it was a mobile game I'm Samuels I work for the company it's about your mother we think we may have found her Amanda a commercial vessel 
The Anisadora has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I facility. know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrents if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. this game could actually be. Give me a sec. Just a little bit of boost here. Gotta wash off the uh, space ice. Cryo sleep is always a terrifying concept to me, honestly. Okay, so the idea of, like, sleep normally has always been kind of, like, it's weird to me as a person because of the idea of, like, oh, I'm, my mind doesn't register how long I've been sleeping, right? It's like, I go to sleep, feels like it's been, like, 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, wake up, it's 8 hours, right? Lane, you on the lookout for a navigational officer? I have a friend that's just lost his ship and he's looking for work. I can vouch for him. He's got good papers. Same old story. The megacorps, un the megacorps undercut him, picked up all his clients. Contracts getting harder to come by for the smaller companies, and I'm thinking of getting out myself while I still have something to sell. Sounds like you're doing okay, though. Drop by the dock. Oh, sorry. Drop by the docks. And heard you shipped out to Sevastopol Station. What a shithole. Still, I hear Whaling Yutani pays well. Good luck to you. If you can't beat him, right? Let's catch up when you get back. Blame.
you know, the concept of cryo sleep, like, it, it, I barely register the idea of, like, I sleep for, like, eight, five, like, five to eight hours, right? And then I wake up, and it's just, like, it feels like 15 minutes. But sleeping for, like, six months or years in some cases in this series, that shit's terrifying to me. I think, I don't know if I can handle that sort of information if I were to wake up one day and it's just like, how long have I been sleeping? Like five years, six years, blah. I think I'd actually lose my fucking mind. Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Raylan Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. I'll catch up with him. Ready? pre -o. To when Taylor regarding the Stromo incident, Waylon Yutani filed. Blah, 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 blah. Hey Taylor, I got your keys request. It might take me a while to dig out the files, and the incident happened before my time at the company, so I'm a bit fuzzy in the details. In 2122, the Whaling Yutani cargo vessel, the USCSS Nostromo, went missing. No trace was found of its cargo or crew. Apart from a new science officer, the rest of the crew had worked together before, 7 and all. Dallas Captain Ash, science officer, Kane, or is it Kane, executive officer, Ripley, warrant officer, Lambert, navigation officer, Parker, chief engineer, Brett, engineer technician. Whaling Yutani lost a lot of money from it. It's a bit of a black mark in the history. Get the impression they don't like to mention it. Anyway, I'll try and find the files later. Clarify some of the points if you want. If you want, I can help you go through them. Maybe some of your luck will rub off on me. I hear upstairs have an eye on you for something big. Captain Verlaine, Diane. Manifest me better. Yeah, that's a, that's a thing I really appreciate about this game in particular. It has this... It, it keeps its aesthetic from the old movies, even if the aesthetic itself is sort of outdated. But it's like... This old style of... Futuristic sci-fi was... is still kind of neat, in my personal opinion. And visually, it's a lot more interesting than some of the more modern stuff. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. We talked. She seems nervous. Hmm. I hadn't noticed. She's a skilled executive, though. Should help us with any legal issues we might encounter. All personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sebastopol Station. 
Looks like we're up. Now, I just remembered something that we've had, we've all had expressed some issues with in the past. Uh, if for any reason you guys feel motion sickness from watching this, because it is obviously a first-person perspective game, uh, feel free to step like feel free to step away if you need to be. I'm obviously, I'm not going to take it personally or anything like that. Hope you all had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how we doing? SMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comm so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. See it. Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel, Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol Traffic Control. We're carrying three passengers on a whaling. You, Tawny Bond, you're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. <laughs> Marshal, this is the Torrent. Say again. The station's comm seemed pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrents in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Depressurizer. Oh, fuck. Hating this. Just shout on me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. Fuck happened here? My God, Ripley. You're 
doing good, Tick. Just keep moving! Taylor Ripley, hold on! It's never routine. It's never routine. So boys and girls, you've probably heard whispers about Sevastopol by now, and I can confirm it's official. Sevastopol is being decommissioned. I will go over with each of you what this means in regards to your contracts and next placement. But for now, we still have a job to do. The suits want this done with a skeleton crew, which, me which means we'll only be getting a few outside contractors to help. But it does mean overtime. I recommend taking what you can while it's available. I should point out that the decommission does not mean lucky dip. 
everything here has to be accounted for, and I will personally escort anyone found helping themselves to equipment to Marshall Waits. The chief. Some unavoidable damage there. God No, working job. Langley, if you're looking for our stash, I've moved it. You left it right down in the open where anyone could have taken it. Jesus, do you know where I ha what I had to do to get it? I've hidden it up in one of the storerooms. You should be able to find it. The code is 0340. 0340. Somebody in the chat, uh, do me a favor, type that in the chat, and then I'll look back on it later. <laughs> Don't worry, no one goes down to the terminals anymore, not after what happened. Also, we're out of meds and low on water, so you're going to have to need to get some. It's your turn. Maybe it'll te maybe it'll teach you to take care of our stuff in the future. Zero four three zero. So it says down in the terminals. We're in the fucking terminals. Goodbye from season. We've had a long journey together, but sadly, it's coming to an end. Season Corp would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you who worked and lived at Sebastopol over the years, and hopes that the season. <coughs> In hopes that Seekson has helped to make a productive and rewarding environment, our investment and relief in the station has never wavered. Be assured that Seekson's Apollo Central AI and Working Joe Androids will be there to serve Sevastopol until the last rivet is removed. We wish you all the very best for the future. After all, Sevastopol isn't just a station, it's people. Seekson Corp. Harris, Turner, get back here now. We have a track somewhere in engineering. Lock the terminal down, kill the power, and don't forget your reports. Make them thorough. We're gonna need our paperwork to be bulletproof when this shit's over. 
Wait up. But it's not too early for the atmosphere. It's not too early for the atmosphere to get real spooky. Okay, clearly. All right. So they said the safe was in the terminal. So maybe the map will help out. That's the passenger lounge. Okay, so I don't think I've gotten to the yet, so we're good. Right. <laughs> More unavoidable damage. Or if it was avoidable, it sure didn't feel like it. Yeah, put the stick away. Put the, put the flare away, Ripley. What the hell happened here? Budget cuts, Ripley. Budget cuts. You know, this game is still fucking gorgeous, and it still holds up to its aesthetic, like, remarkably well.
today's update. After numerous demands, Marshal Waits finally called a public meeting to address the rumors that have been circulating on Sevastopol. But instead of the answers we wanted, he continued to be evasive, and after only a few minutes, he and his team were pelted by projectiles from an angry crowd. A gun was fired, there was panic, and now Waits and what's left of his team are forcibly ejecting us from the terminal. Feels like we're on our own now. Yeah, no, Uncomfortable is the name of the game, and it's very good at making you feel uncomfortable. Though that's half the fun, honestly. It's making you, it's putting you in a space where you feel anxious at, like, all times. That's why it's best to take it in, uh, moderation. But it's also, like, excellent at what it does. Hmm. <laughs> Pull into plug. Zoe, I'm sorry, but I won't need you to come in next week. As you know, the store has been in trouble for some time now, and I couldn't hold off the creditors any longer. There's just no one coming to Sebastopol anymore. It's not just us either. It sounds like the whole station is in the red, and they're pulling the plug. Going to sell it off for scrap. Like, <clears throat> you know. <clears throat> Going to sell it off for scrap, I guess. I was speaking to one of the engineers, and he reckons they'll announce it soon. I'm telling you. I'm telling you this so you don't... See, no, sorry. So you don't stick around looking for another job. Sebastopol's finished. Time to move on. Harper. To all spaceflight employees. To all spaceflight terminal employees, in the interest of public safety and the prevention of panic, it must be made clear to all potential passengers that there are currently no scheduled flights leaving Sebastopol nor ships available. The, uh, the Colonial Marshals are investigating problems on station and, still, and will update accordingly. From the, office of, from the Office of Marshal Waits. What is Apollo? Apollo is the central AI that monitors and provides guidance for all Sikhs and working Joes on Sebastopol. Apollo also oversees all communications on the station, so wherever you are, you know you're in the safe hands. Sikhs and tomorrow, together. Like, it's something that even a safe point feels kind of unsettling. has a knack to put for putting you into very uncomfortable claustrophobic spaces. damn place is falling apart. That it is, Ripley. That it is.
crouch. Dead bodies. It's a lot of dead bodies. That's got to be the exit up ahead. Yeah, because if you know how the like the main mechanic of the game and the uh, nature of the enemy which you're facing open spaces with no places for cover are often just as dangerous as tight spaces of which you're just kind of stuck. Either way, you need to be able to put yourself in a, like, a safer zone. You need to be able to hide, and these open spaces do not provide with that. For the record, it has been quite some time since I've played this game. It's been at least two years, so my memory of it might be a little foggy. Don't expect me to be perfect at it. It's not something I, like, mastered or anything or attempted to master. It's just a game I enjoy a lot. And honestly, I think I'm... And honestly, I think I tried, like, I personally tried to make an effort to tr to forget as much of the game as possible so that each time I can at least enjoy it a little bit more. Well, fuckle sticks, I might be lost. Why would I tell you to stop playing Teppin? Just continue playing Teppin. You're on a roll. Like, run it down.
Like seriously, it's these moments of alertness. Like, wh like whenever you're in like that. Whenever you're like in that moment of high alertness, like you're excited because you're winning that much, you when you, you feel that like high of being this far ahead, of being the be of being this much. Fucking damn it! Stop that! You stop that! You have a conversation. And you're over here making big noises. Anyway, whenever you're in that level of high, you gotta keep. You just gotta keep it going. It keeps you on like a high alert. It's an adrenaline rush. I don't look right. You see. Somebody should fix that. Not me though. Hello, sir. How dead are you? You seem excessively dead. I think I need this more than you do. Got your ID tag. Watson. That's Watson. You get that? My complaint is this. The fucking marshals. They should be protecting us. It's their job. Something's on this station with us and no one knows what it is. No one fucking knows. They put braces on the doors. Locked down. You know, like to keep something out. I'm fucking terrified, man. I'm fucking... Shit, it's so cold. I don't think this fucking thing even works. Hmm. Interview subject. 
heist. Did I say that right? Heist? Look, if you can't even tell me your name, we're gonna be here a hell of a long time. I just want to know about your boss. He's got you all into a lot of trouble. Someone's gonna be accountable. I'm gonna make damn sure someone's accountable. No? Tough guy, huh? Turner, turn off the tape. Maybe our friend here is just shy. Ooh, dirty cops. My favorite. Safe point says no enemies nearby. Safe point wouldn't lie to me. Safe point is my friend. Paris, it's Turner. Got to deal with that wasted asshole again. This time he nearly wrecked the door with a maintenance jack. Guess he figures it's safe here. Wants to lock himself in. Screw him. We got too much to worry about without babysitting drunks. Anyway, I threw him in the evidence lockup. Let the son of a bitch sleep it off. Oh, he's the dead dude. God, this map is so much fucking better than the map we had to deal with in Devil May Cry 2. God bless. It's so fucking useful. It's an important distinction. The map in Devil May Cry 2 was the least helpful thing I've ever seen on the in the like thing. It's the most it's the least helpful thing compared to an actual map. Harris, this is Turner. I found the last power coupling. Took me a while, but it's off now. Just getting the last security brace. Come find me when you shut yours down, then we can get the hell out of here. Jesus man, I'm hearing noises everywhere. Every creak and just hurry the fuck up, will you? Hey, Aaron. Welcome to Ace welcome to Alien Isolation. You're just in time for the cameo appearance. Stay still. Okay. Okay. Now turn around. Come on! Oops, sorry. I'm Ripley. Where'd you come from? 
Ripley. Off station. A ship. There's no ships here. There are now. Well, huh, that's good news. Because things are not so good here. Something blue just now. Rocked this whole place. I saw it. But lady, that's the least of our problems. Yeah? Yeah. Something's on this station. Something you wouldn't believe. Like what? A killer. You get it? Okay. Okay. What's your name? Axel. I was boarding with two colleagues. EVA. We got separated by the blast. Can you help me find them? Why? Because you seem to know your way around. No, I mean, why? What's in it for me? A place on the ship. How did I know I can trust you? I need to find comms. I need to contact my ship. This is your lucky day. Let's go, sweetheart. Seeks and comms is in the Sistex Bayer. It's quite a distance, but we can get to a transit through the freight area. But watch yourself. We can get into all sorts of trouble there, okay? I earnestly Is that forgot. you following me back there? Had to keep my distance. Can't take any chances. I earnestly forgot there was actually a character named Axel in this game. Stick close to me. Hey, don't move. Oh, oh, okay, okay. We're not looking for trouble. Who are you? I'm John. This is Ringo. You're just some assholes. We haven't got time for this. Come on, Jana. We're trying to get to comms. Can you help us? We don't need their help. Don't tell them anything. Look, I've got the elevator working. Jana, let's go, okay? I... I'm sorry. Good luck. What the hell was that about? Why are you so damn aggressive? Everyone's running shit scared. Keeping to their own. Safer that way. This ship of yours is the real McCoy. Hold up. Let me get the elevator. Allow me. Place is old. Needs a special touch. What are you waiting for? Hit the button. Space flight terminal to freight shipping. Keep the noise down here. There might be people around. I'd appreciate it if you told me what the hell was going on. Right now. Listen, darling. When we get to the ship, we can kick back, braid each other's hair, and chat all you want. Yeah, when we get to my ship. I need to know what's going on. Right fucking now. Fine. Like I said, there's a killer. A killer? What does that even mean? I ain't seen it, but it's here. Picking us off one by one. What are you saying? A psycho? A person? No. Something else. A monster. You see, it's a monster. It's very, it's very marketable. We're gonna make a bunch of movies with them, and they're not all gonna be good. But people will still go to watch them because it's a fucking monster. Shit, we need to move this way. Get down. This is bullshit, man. You should be looking for a way off. Are you crazy? 
There's no way off. At least we're safe down here. For how long? What if they come for us? Then we shoot the crap out of them. Now shut up. You're making me nervous. <coughs> Trouble. We'll have to go random. Follow me. Friends of yours? I've had run-ins with those guys before. They don't like strangers, even nice guys like me. I'm shocked. I ain't pulling your chain, darling. You want to go and say hello? It's your funeral. Those guns aren't for show. Someone should be doing something. They are. It's called surviving. Everyone's turning on each other. The fear, it makes people crazy. I've noticed. Gosh, Ripley, calm the fuck down. <laughs> That's sass. This is so much. You've been living here? What can I say? My butler's on holiday. Grab what you need. You don't know when you'll get another chance. Been hunkered down here for a week now, waiting for a ship. Waiting for you, I guess. It can get pretty dark around here. You should take that flashlight over there. Make sure you're stocked up on batteries. Just be careful not to flash it around. We don't want to get caught. Let's go. I love the fact that we're like an hour in this and the way. monster still hasn't shown up. Like, I love that the game wants to build suspense. What now? That it's trying. The vent. There's another vent right here somewhere. I'm out so I wouldn't forget it. How about you look around? You're not going anywhere until you find that vent. This it? Hold on. I'm coming. Oh, that's pitch I knew black. I was here somewhere. See? Got it covered. It's pitch fucking black. <laughs> It's not smart to stay here too long. Is this the way everyone travels around here? Just those that want to stay alive, sweetheart. Bitch, I will shove my flare up your, your ass and tell you to scream. Torrance, so that's your ship, huh? Aren't you just trying to engage conversation, you motherfucker? Yeah, I hear you. Will do. 
Gotta go meet the others. Something's going down. There's always something going down. Come on. We don't want to piss him off. Feels like we're standing around waiting to die. Follow me. Bossy oh, motherfucker. What's the emergency? Someone else has been here. Everyone, stay alert. Keep your guns tight. Shoot anyone you don't know. Stick around while I check our stock. Hey, we can do this. They're armed. Too many of them to take on. Take on? We still got to get through there. The door at the end. How? Let's try a distraction. The generator. If that went down, they'd have to check it out. You're smaller than me. You'll make less noise. Great. Fucking Which dick. one of you checked our supplies last? I did. What's up? You decide to help yourself a little? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Hey, he's been with me the whole time. We're missing food, ammo, meds. If it's not one of us, then we were right. Someone's been in here. This is no good. We're supposed to be secure down here. Damn it. What about the lock Joe rigged up? I've just come from there. It's sealed tight. Eyes open. Keep your guns ready. Someone's gonna have to tell the boss. Boss? He's a goddamn store clerk. Yeah? Maybe you think you could do better. He's not saying that. I'm just saying that... Just stop saying. And help me check the rest of this stuff. That is, if you could keep your trap from running for five seconds. And we get to play the other game everyone loves to everyone loves for me to play. Watch him try to be stealthy when he is the least stealthy person on this planet. Safety got tripped. Could have been a rodent. That stuck it and set off the safety. A rat. A big fucking rat to do that. Well, I don't know. Someone is fucking. Probably the same person who stole our stuff. That's a scary thought. That's why we've got guns. Come on. Help me find the switch to get it started again. Most people should be on their way, right? Nice work, Ripley. This way. Let's keep it down. They're still close by. Follow me. Yeah. Much further. Nearly there. Transit's just up ahead. Let's just hope your ship's still there. Sevastopol, not quite what you're expecting, eh? I'm not even supposed to be here. My shipping out papers were for a week ago. <coughs> a blind eye. That's it. 
Yes, I managed to get my hands on that stuff I was talking about. I'm sorry. I managed to get my hands on, my, on that stuff I was talking about. Chief won't even notice the stock missing. Things have, have oh, sorry. Things always get lost when the station's closing down. Won't worry about customs either. Sinclair's told his men to turn a blind eye. They'd probably be too busy goofing off taking uh, backhanders. Yeah, not taking backhanders to have noticed anyway. You get what you pay for, I guess. Nearson. Leonard. Nearson. Leonard, you're both first shift on the door, so read carefully. Pulling this together. Putting this together wasn't easy, and we don't want intruders getting in because you didn't, you didn't read the instructions properly. This here is what you call a two man rule lock. That means it needs two to open a door simultaneously from two different consoles. Most of us won't know. Most of us don't know each other, so this is the safest way of making sure everyone, sorry, everything stays secure, and none of us decide to head off on our own with our, with our stuff when you're on shift. Take it in turns to keep guard and notify the other if one of us needs to be let in or out. That means just us, no one else. No matter how much anyone begs, and no matter what so sorry, what sob story they try and pull. I was with a group before, and we got soft, and now I'm the only one left. Trust no one. Yeah. Souls have cut us off. Got it. We need to activate both consoles at the same time to open it. I'll do this one. You go to the one on the other side. Okay. Ready. On three. One, two, three. are on their way. We need to go! No! Hey, you bastard! Move it! Shoot him! Oh, shit. I think he's dead. They killed him. Come on! You killed that guy! Because he was going to kill me, you saved my life. This is about survival. Understand. Hear something. I hear something. Axel. What have I got on me?
So the uh, fun part about hard mode in particular is that while there are While there are, um... Station serving seeks and communication technologies, tech support services, and Gemini Exoplanet solutions. There are designated, there are designated points in time where the Xenomorph will appear. However, in hard mode, it also increases its spawn, like, it also increases the chance of a random encounter elsewhere where if you do enough actions to provoke it coming out of Haydn, it will do so even in sec even like early sections like right there after Axel was killed typically it will never show up but on hard and higher difficulties if you do enough actions to provoke it it will it can just straight up kill you right before the elephant like right afterwards Yeah, no thanks. Spruce is a pretty bad hugger. Yeah, he, uh, he 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 gives like overly long hugs. I've noticed. I'm against overly long hugs with people I don't know. God, you nearly killed me. <laughs> like no one like no one likes meeting a new person and then they hug you for like thirty seconds too fucking long and they just don't let go. Access to her. She was trying to hack the elevator's security. Circuits are fried. Easy fix. 
just need to find a new data cell. Do we really know Bruce? Do we actually know Bruce? I don't think any of us know Bruce as well as Bruce would like to know us. You. I think they were over there. Oh, fuck. Number one. It's not even that a fucking alien. This game just teaches you to be paranoid of all people, all machines. Chunk of your health, too. Second. Yeah, it doesn't help that the spell, like everyone, like all the other, like, humans in this game are, like, rocking some high aim, like, some wonderful accuracy ratings. They clearly went to the opposite school the Swarm Troopers go to. She was trying to hack the elevator's security. Circuits are fried. Easy fix. Just need to find a new data cell. Place falls apart more every day. Don't see shit. Don't see shit. Don't see shit. You don't see shit, Captain. You don't see shit, Captain. Don't 
Don't see a damn thing, Captain. Yep. <laughs> oh, this sucks. Um. That doesn't count. I didn't die. I just felt like loading my current save, you know? Just, uh. I didn't, I didn't fucking count. get through that that time without her shooting me. Yay! An access to her. She was trying to hack the elevator's security. Circuits are fried. Easy fix. Just need to find a new data set. Fuck you, dude, come on! Someone over there. Damn! <laughs> Ooh! Holy shit! <laughs> Stay back! Shit! Guys! Over here! Someone's here! To her. She was trying to hack the elevator security. Circuit Circuits of Fry, easy, easy fix. fix. Just need to find a new data set. What are you talking about? Axel's right there!
Mother! Fuck! It's three. God, when did we get pushed in like this fucking junction? I don't remember this being this hard. Shit! Oh my fucking god! Um, okay, I'm pretty sure, um, um, I'm pretty sure we just broke some logic coding of the game there, because at least one of those shots is supposed to miss. But, uh... Circuits of Rise, easy, easy fix. fix. Just need, Just to, need find to find a new data, data cell. <laughs> you see anything yet? I didn't know the people from Sebastopol were from the fucking block. Feel safe? I sure as hell don't. I feel pretty safe. How about you, bitch? Hey, I think she went downstairs. Come on. I I'm not going down there. No way. She's got your hack tool. It didn't work. We'll find another way out. We've been here too long already. As much as I would love to, um, kill the rest of them. Okay, now this is part of the game where I start, um... This is the part of the game where I start to be a little sluggish. I apologize. Um... Uh... 
I am not going to lie. When um, Bruce is on the field, I get a little... I get a little afraid. Right, I need to fix my hack tool first. Shouldn't be that hard. Circuits of fry, easy fix. See, that's the problem, Rox. Every sound in this game is meant to sound potentially horrifying. That's what gets you. Ooh, a smoke bomb. Look, if it's stealth in other games, if it's stealth in other games, I don't mind if there's creaky noises and shit. That shit, I can handle that shit. It's an alien. It's a fucking oh, alien. I ain't here for that. Or rather, I, I... I lost my train of thought. Dude, what did you do? You pissed this alien off some fierce. It could have just one shot you. It decided to fuck you up. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh fuck yeah, you're right. I would be so fucked. I would be so fucked. Thankfully, I do not have, uh, that oh, camera bit. The flight recorder. What? What? No! God damn it!
That's so horrifying! Why would they do that? It's almost like they're the devil and they want you to be fucking scared out of your fucking mind. And also because people who play this game are masochists who want to be scared out of their fucking minds. I'd do it if I could. I'd do it if I could. I wouldn't even think about it. But I ain't going out of my way to buy a fucking PS4 camera for that shit. Give me a break. W. Chief Porter uh, regarding Sebastopol terminals. Chief, the good news is I'm about 80% through archiving Sebastopol's internal mail system for the decommissioning. For the decommissioning, it's been disconnected from Apollo, but it, but I have left the basic messaging system in place for people still here. The bad news is whoever set it up in the first place skimped on the hardware. And we've got had some leaks. I've got Mike Tanaka looking into our into it now he's a specialist archivist we've called in seems to know his way sorry seems to know his shit just thought i'd better give you the heads up in the meantime desolation through isolation the space station that nobody needed run by a company we all forgot sevastopol is now a back is now a backwater. The population is a tenth of the station's optimal capacity. Docking bays are empty and the shutters are down on local stores and businesses. The orders for Seekson's cheaply manufactured androids have long since dried up and the antiquated Apollo governing AI system frequently malfunctions. How did we get here? More importantly, where have billions of dollars of investment gone? My name is Julia Jones. I have lived in Sevastopol for two months compiling this report for the Colonial Times, discovering the price of <clears throat> discovering the price our second tier corporations have paid for their overexpansion during the races into the outer rim. You do the pre old voice. I try. I try to think of that one. Um, the, uh, I think it's a deer from uh, from Agretzko. The one that's the one that's just like a girly girl that is totally playing it up so that other people don't give her too many responsibilities. I guess. Ah, oh, shit! There he is! He's so fucking tall.
Brucey's looking real good. But unfortunately, can't say the same about our chances of survival. And then we have problems. Yeah, Prio, yeah, Prio. That is, that is, is what is what it's called. That is what it's called. It's just unfortunate that that word now has a new, uh, must to co like a connotation recently. Hello, my name's Ripley, Amanda Ripley. I need your help. Please take a seat. Someone will be with you shortly. No wonder Seekson is losing the tech race. It used to be like uh, that term used to be a like based used to be associated with a uh, mus a musical style. And
brilliantly simple and simply brilliant. I need to get into comms control. It's urgent. That is a restricted area. It's an emergency! Don't you realize what's going on? Apollo has the situation in hand. Your registration is almost complete. Forget it. I'll find my own way in. I wouldn't have For your it. comfort and reassurance, our working Joe synthetics are designed to be instantly recognizable. Surveys have shown that consumers are often uncomfortable Some kind of tracker. It's been modified. Ah, yes. Are you lost? Holy fuck, mother! No, no problem. Asshole. Door of red. Hughes, I put a manual lock in the door leading upstairs. Don't want any accidents until we figure out what's going on here. Chief. Our manifesto. First published in the Eve of Six Saxon Sexon February two uh, twenty one fifteen. We don't want to show you a new world. We want to discover. We don't. Yeah, we want to discover it with you here at Seekson. Every new technology, research, project, and discovery is driven to find a re to find real world applications to help you. We'll help you join us for the journey. I'm sorry. We'll hope you join us for the journey. Hey. Together tomorrow, Sigson's journey into colonial space and an official history. By Sebastian Sieg, first printed in Eve of Sigson. Our origins in space, 2034, changed everything. The advent of faster than light travel put Sigson, then known as Sigin's son, on the path to success. The race into space began in earnest, and under the, oh, and under the steady hand of our founder, Josiah Sieg, our company was primed and ready for the years that followed. Sieg and Son built, built the components that enabled ships to extend colonial space beyond the solar system. As history, what the fuck? As history relates, Wayland Corps was reluctant to share its FTL technologies with other corporations. Fortunately, Josiah Sieg was on hand to speculate, innovate, and produce. Without Sieg and Son, the skies would have looked very different indeed. You dead as fuck. Now I need you all to understand that when I have the motion tracker up, 
uh, my the light on my controller changes. It turns green, and the light blinks white in the dark, like the closer something is. So like if you're in the situation I am right now where it's like a where I'm playing in the dark, right? It's just this ominous constant flash in the strogan the strogan light. It's it's one it's actually it's actually pretty cool. I'm actually a big fan of that. I love the small touches they put for this game, especially on this console. A creepy robot dude, if you'll excuse me, I got shit to do. Bishop, as in, like, the, uh, one... Oh, fuck, I forgot what the actor's name is. But, um... Bishop, Bishop being the one from, like, uh... Aliens, right? I can't remember the name for the life of me. Uh, I'd, I'd still say I'd say these guys is the thing because they're built in the they're built in the facsimile of a human, and they're like they fail at it. They're just miserably incomplete. Now, yes, yes, it's a legion of ashes. On the other hand, that bothered the fuck out of me. Lance Henriksen, there you go. Thank you, thank you. I, I, I was I was struggling really hard to try to remember his name. You know, Lance Henriksen is kind of just a suit like his voice and his like his voice and his um demeanor is just kind of soothing as a whole. Maybe I forgot something here. Yeah. yeah. I'm a dumbass. Okay. Well, at least for sure that nothing happened. I didn't miss anything. Exactly. These just look like a. These just look like mannequins, like walking mannequins, and God knows that's already pretty creepy.
Right, it's also, it also acts as a compass. That makes so. The game gets a lot easier when you get the uh, motion tracker. But unfortunately, the motion tracker comes with its own set of dangers. Namely, in large part, the idea that um, uh, other other things, not living creatures, not just living creatures, I guess, and with the uh, androids involved, can't hear the motion tracker. me in. I need to contact my ship. I'm sorry. I can't allow that. Ripley, Amanda. You have now been knocked with Apollo. Welcome to Sevastopol. There's gotta be another way inside. Establish long range communications. You're becoming hysterical. Get back! I'm warning you! Tut, tut, let's resolve this amicably. He dead as fuck. Boy, he dead. <laughs> that is an ex person right there. That is also a camera. Take your ammo though, because you clearly don't need it anymore. Sorry to say. Your logged message. Sensitive corporate information has been automatically detected. In a Sevastopol message recently sent from this terminal, the event has been logged by Apollo on behalf of Seeks, and if you have any further questions, please talk to your uh, line manager or nearest synthetic Seeks representative. Riggs, are you still working down in Seeks communications? Remember that Remember that trouble you got into last year? The trouble I helped you out of? Well, it's time to repay the favor. One of my colleagues has been looking into some of the import documents and found a few problems. <clears throat> He's new, so he doesn't understand how we do things in Sebastopol, and he's threatening to go to Walt to waits about it. This could hurt us all, so I need you all to keep an eye on him, see if anything interesting comes up. Apollo has cameras everywhere. It just it just needs someone to tell it where to point to. His name is Daniel Holden. Lives in Josiah 6, Executive Apartments 651. If this goes well, I might have some more work for you. We could clean up up. Sorry. We could clean up up here.
Come on. Central Communications Hub seeks an employees only. station I can contact. This is the commercial vessel Torrens out of Saint out of Saint Cl Oh Saint Clair. Registration number MSV seven seven six yeah six zero. Call in Sevastable Traffic Control. We're carrying three passengers on a Whalen Utani bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer to passenger port site passengers port site. Over. Operation not permitted. Repeat, our ranged communications are down and we need help. 
Stand off and send help. Well, unfortunately, that was the message that was trying to go through to us in the beginning of the game, but unfortunately, thanks to uh, the uh, working Joes over here, we weren't able to decipher that. And now we are right fucked. Right in the down under. Saw recording seeks on access only. Four or five, I can't really recall. 
External communications disabled by order of Apollo. Facility offline. All outgoing communications off. <gasps> That's just great. Internal communications open on limited channels. Gotta be someone on the station I can contact. Show? Show?
to me. Save point is my friend. Excuse me? It's Ripley! Ripley! Taylor, it's Ripley. We were getting worried. We I thought... made it! Where are you? Uh, we're at a transit station now. It's right by medical. Okay. Samuels, listen to me. It's not safe here. Siegson's got this place locked tight. Their goddamn androids are killing people! That's impossible. It's contrary to primary synthetic programming. I've seen it, Samuels. I guess Siegson's got a different idea about synthetics. And there's something else here. A creature. It's big and it's lethal. Ripley, slow down. A creature. It's a life form, a, an unknown type, some kind of alien organism. It's extremely dangerous. You and Taylor Ripley, need to make- Taylor is hurt. She was injured by debris during the crossing. How bad? I can't move her. I need medical supplies. We need to treat and pack the And injury. the Torrens? The radio is broken. I can't contact Verlaine. We're on our own. Shit. Okay. I'll come to you. Keep your eyes open. I'll send a transit car to you. Good night, Aaron. Good boost, problem, buddy.
seeks an employees only. This is Central Communications. Seeks an employees only. Oh, this is going quite well. The only one I can trust, safe point. The only one I can trust. I do not recall if these dudes go aggro, or if they're just perma-aggro now. Are you just gonna stand there? Okay, I've gotta recall. We're experiencing a heightened containment hazard level today.
Wait, goodbye. Ooh. Oh, I'm um. The alien is not the only threat on board the station. Yeah, no shit. It's the one thing on the station that hasn't killed me yet. But she didn't get hit in the eye. Come on. Try and rest, Taylor. How is she? She needs treatment. Medical's nearby, but I didn't want to leave her. I'll go and investigate. See what I can find. You stay with her. I'll try to repair the radio booster. What if this creature shows up? Hide. Unauthorized security breach detected. All transit shut down by order of Apollo.
I need a doctor. Hello? I, I need a... I can't hear you. Hang on. Now oh, very suspicious. Come on, come. There's no time to lose. And very convenient. San Cristobal. Forget the door. The marshals have locked everything down. Use the vent. Thanks. I love the vent. It's my favorite. It's uh, my favorite means of getting around. You know, when there's not a giant killer organism crawling around the vent alongside me. But hey, you know, what can you do, right? It's my second choice. seem a little on edge. Can't really blame you. I need to find a doctor. I'm a doctor. My friend needs help. Medical supplies. Me too. There are no supplies on this level. But there are plenty downstairs in the hospital dispensary. How do we get there? We? Do I look like I'm in any fit state? I need your help and you need mine. You find the passcode for the service elevator and then I'll come down to the hospital with you, okay? Passcode? Yeah. I can direct you from here. Morley or Lingard would have had the new passcode. Morley's office is your best bet. Whew. Okay, so it is in this section that, in my person, this game really pops the fuck off. So, we're gonna stop here. I think that will be an excellent place to call it for tonight. Because this is, it's going to be, it's going to be a long level. That is where we will call it for tonight, my friends. Uh, thank you for coming along and joining me on my stream. We will return at some point or another. Um, technically, this is kind of the priority stream because I want to actually try to finish this within the month of October for obvious reasons. But uh, I can guarantee that the next stream will be us at least starting Devil May Cry 3. as I can fairly safely out say that um, uh, we could probably not finish Devil May Cry 3 in a single stream like we did uh, Devil May Cry 1 and 2 if just because I have so much to say about that game and it'll probably up the it'll probably up the runtime a little bit so yeah I guess 
we're done for the night, guys. Uh, thank you for joining me tonight. Uh, keep on keeping on, my friends.